Hey guys, welcome back to Moyo, the cooking channel that's not so useless. This video showcases episode 2 of my barbecue meat mini series, and I'll be showing you guys how my family makes one of the OG Chinese barbecue meats, cha siu. Now I know that some of you may be thinking, well hang on, wasn't episode 1 about cha siu style barbecue pork ribs? Which by the way, you should go watch if you haven't already. And so, wouldn't the recipe be exactly the same? See, we sort of cheated with those ribs by using the infamous Li Gum Geese Cha Siu sauce. Now, by no means of demeaning the brand, but anyone can just buy a tub of this and use it as the main marinade component for Cha Siu. But, we're not going to use it for this recipe. So, let's look at the ingredients. Pork, light soy sauce, cooking wine, chicken powder, licorice powder, 5 spice powder, raw sugar, salt, an onion, and lastly, mato syrup. Now, for the quantities. This recipe is for roughly 2 kilograms of pork, 45 grams of light soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of cooking wine, half a teaspoon of chicken powder, 1 teaspoon of licorice powder, half a teaspoon of 5 spice powder, 100 grams of raw sugar, 18 grams of salt, half an onion, and finally, mato syrup for the glaze. For our pork, we like to use the pork neck as they have some great intramuscular fat that will melt and keep the meat moist and tender as it cooks. Alternatively, you can use the pork shoulder cuts, but trust me, it won't be as tender as the pork neck. Start off by washing your pork and let them dry in the fridge for a few hours. When ready to marinate, take them out of the fridge and dry off any excess moisture with some paper towels. With your pork, you want to cut them into 3-4 to four finger width sizes against the grain. If your pork is too thick, make a straight incision along the grain and almost butterfly the meat. This will allow the marinade to penetrate the meat better. Get a mixing bowl that is big enough to marinate the pork in. Cut an onion in half and remove the skin. Grate or very finely mince half of it into the bowl and leave the other half for another day. Now, that's all the hard stuff done. All we need to do now is simply add the rest of the ingredients as per the quantities. And remember, do not put the malto syrup into the marinade as it is simply for the glaze. Mix the ingredients together and massage the marinade into the pork. The aim here is to melt the salts and sugars and get a good enough rub onto the pork. Once the salts and sugars are melted to the best of your ability, go ahead and wrap them up and put them in the fridge. Allow the pork to rest for about 8 hours or overnight. When you are ready to roast the pork, bring it out 30 minutes before you start cooking and allow them to gradually reach room temperature. Be sure to give the pork one last mix before putting it in the oven. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit. When your oven reaches 180 degrees Celsius, pop your char seal in, set your timer to 30 minutes and go do something else in the meantime. Or, if you're really enthusiastic, watch the char seal as it cooks.
when the 30 minutes is almost up, microwave the maltose syrup for about 30 seconds. We want the maltose syrup to be nice and runny so we can lather it on the char seal. Go ahead and spread the maltose syrup on the top side of the char seal. Obviously, the more you apply, the sweeter it will be, so apply per your discretion. Set your oven temperature as high as it can go, and roast the char seal again. Be sure to keep an eye on the char seal to avoid any burning, as all we are looking for is for the maltose syrup to start bubbling. Once the maltose syrup is bubbling, turn the char seal over and apply maltose syrup to the other side. Put the char seal back into the oven and roast this side until the maltose syrup bubbles once more. After this, take them out of the oven and your char seal is done. Now, you might notice that my char seal is not as vibrant in colour as other char seal recipes. Those recipes typically use food colouring, but we're not a fan of food colouring as it's not natural. When serving, cut them across the grain, plate them up and watch as everyone cleans the plate for you. So guys, that was my family's recipe for char seal. If you ever get the chance to try this recipe out, be sure to comment below and tell me how it went. I hope you all enjoyed this video and maybe I'll see you again in my next video. See ya.